Hello everyone, my name is Amber and I'm a volunteer at Kappa Closet. Today we are going to discuss how to properly sort through clothes that were donated to the thrift store. This video was made to help demonstrate how to properly check clothing when training new volunteers. So let's get started. When going through clothing, it is important to look for stains. When looking for stains, you want to check at the bottom of the shirt sleeves for sweat stains, around the neckline of shirts for makeup stains, look for grass stains, especially on shorts and pants, and discoloration of any kind on items of clothing. Next, you want to look for rips, tears, and holes. It's imperative that when checking an item of clothing, you inspect the front as well as the back. Even if there is a very tiny hole in the item of clothing, it needs to be put into a trash bag to be recycled. When checking pants and shorts, it's also important to look at the crotch and make sure there are no rips, no tears of any kind. Some pants and shorts are made to have rips, holes or tears in the knees, and are made that way to create a distressed look. You can normally tell if the items of the clothing was made to have a distressed look. However, if you are unsure, ask someone around you for clarification. Lastly, when checking pants, shorts, or dresses, you want to check to make sure the zipper and the buttons work. If not, you will also put that item of clothing in a trash bag to be recycled. Before hanging pants or shorts, check the pockets to make sure there is nothing in them. If you find trash in a pocket of clothing, please discard. If money is found in a pocket of clothing, it is to go directly to Tracy, Kappa, Kappa Closet's manager, and it will be counted as a donation. While the majority of our clothing donations consist of used clothes, you would be amazed at how many people donate brand new clothing. The tag still attached. If you are to come across any clothing with the tag still on, simply remove the tags, but be sure to check for rips, stains, and tears. There are also times when someone donates an item of clothing that might be used but is still very expensive. In this circumstance, bring this item of clothing to Tracy to be priced. When hanging any of the items of clothing, face the hanger so that it looks like a question mark. Once the clothing is on the hanger, you can check then size and put it in that designated area. So by following these guidelines, it's, it guarantees that all clothing will be hung in the same direction and in return makes clothing on the floor look much more organized. This will help the overall appearance of our store by looking appealing to our customers. Any clothing that is put into a trash bag to be recycled is then taken to a textile company. The great thing about clothing that is donated to our store, whether it has stains, rips, tears, is that Kappa receives money from these clothing items. So please don't worry, even if it's recycled, it will still be put to use and Kappa will still benefit from it. I hope this video has helped assist you in your training as a new volunteer, Kappa would like to give a huge shout out to all of our wonderful volunteers and for everything that they do. Did you know that many of our volunteers are our best customers? Before making a purchase, please check out with Tracy, Kappa Closet Store Manager. Because of each of our amazing volunteers and wavering commitment and dedication, you are directly helping our teen residents at Kappa's Open Arm children's home, as well as the program Kappa provides to keep children and their families safe. Your support to our mission is priceless. On behalf of Kappa, thank you for all of your hard work.